Thank you to Babbel for sponsoring this video. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Reject Nation, we are here for a two-parter of the Bad Batch Star Wars this is season three. Michael Tesler, it's one in the morning we're starting Woo! this, Zach, because you were patient because I had to do X, but how you doing, buddy? I'm so freaking excited. We're watching two episodes back to back, That's and the two episodes are always the best episodes. You know you're in for some good Star Wars with that. Also, speaking of Star Wars, I wanted to thank everyone who joined us at our WonderCon panel. Mm. It was a great time, and it's becoming a lot more emotional and heartfelt throughout the entire experience, and this guy was a superstar during there. What? The real stars were Koi. Michael and John and Greg. Eh, it was the whole panel. It was in the other three. Honestly, it was the was audience. They go. were so wonderful. The audience was okay. <laughs> you guys were all right, especially the guy that fell asleep. It was really coy, Michael and John. <laughs> no, you guys were awesome. That was a great time. Wait, Greg, you were there. I was there, and I was able to observe. And I forgot that I was up there for a while. Anyway, guys, uh, <laughs> let's watch the Bad Batch. Use the force to leave a like. Subscribe and click that bell to get notified when our actual next one is up. This guy's going to be out of town, so you're going to have to wait for that one. And uh, what else, Michael? Patreon. Thanks to everyone who joins us on our Patreon page. If you get the full and thread, you watch every single with your own copy of the Bad Batch. And we also cover some things over there exclusive to the highlights and watch songs included. Got a shout out Prep for helping us set it down. These highlights, of course. Let's get to it. Identity crisis. Beautiful. Always a good sign. Aww. He's so cute. No. <laughs> Something terrible is about to happen. Oh, absolutely. Are you force sensitive and gonna get kidnapped? Fifty. Who threw that? It was him. The kid can barely lift the vase that big, let alone throw one. I wonder what kind of country they're playing on here. Sorry. So sorry. I told you that kid was strange. Told you. For sensitive. He's cursed. You know? Oh. Gift. Oh, shit. I think you're right. Don't go saying things like that. You know what kind of trouble that could bring. Oh, we're going to see early inquisitors. I think this is a Saj Ventress looking for uh, going and force saving sensitive force yeah. sensitives. Yeah, part of the, the ring. Also, I'm pretty sure that was the voice of Jim Cummings, who plays Hondo Anaka. Oh, nice. Oh, are you going to report that to the Empire? I've got a tip for a uh, one bounty hunter. You son of a bitch. It's so interesting to recontextualize the Inquisitor's finding Jedi to help. What's he looking at? Look at the schematics of a body in there. There's a body in there. I wonder if there is somebody that we know. Progress in the lab has stalled since Nala Se's confinement. The Kaminoan can no longer be trusted. Do you trust me? Kind of. With a proper clearance, I could be more useful. You're really trying you to sell. Wish to be the new chief scientist? I believe I have earned it. Let's begin by bringing you up to speed on Project Necromancer. Ooh. Be careful not to choke on your aspirations. <laughs> Only the American workforce allowed you to get a promotion. Yeah, absolutely. I was going to say, that was uh, quite refreshing. In addition to the assets in the sublevel containment chamber, you will be given access to the vault. Oh, I've always wanted the access vault. to the vault. Ah, uh, sick. The specimens within are now your responsibility. They are vital. Oh, is it going to be a bunch of kids? Yeah, it's a bunch of kids. Oh, no. Cool. These are a lot of the kids that were abducted in Clone Wars, too, I assume. Ah, that's messed up. This reminds me of the movie Monsters vs. Aliens. Why children? Are they not adults that could serve this purpose? There are few adults left with such characteristics. Yike. And I can't imagine they're willing participants. M count cannot be directly replicated from the source. Nala Sengu of another way. She aided in Omega's escape. The young clone's blood is the only binder that's proven to be compatible with their DNA to recreate their M count levels. Hmm. And why Omega must be found. Ah, interesting. Hello. Hello. I like your glasses. Aw. What is your name? Dr. Carr. 
Do not bond. Limit your personal interactions with the specimens. You are a woman. A motherly instinct can come out of you. This is so interesting. Did you say earlier that this reminds you of the Matrix? It said monsters versus aliens. Oh, it's funny. Because <laughs> this reminds me of the Matrix. <laughs> but I see what you're getting at. <laughs> when they're at the oracles. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's true. Oh. Oh. oh, it sounds just like a human infant. How do you know what that sounds like, Greg? Oh, no. Mama's going to be struck down. She'll become more powerful than you can possibly. Oh, no! That's the Cad. worst. No, Cad Bane. I mean, it's great to see him. Before he died a really great death. I'm not gonna lie, I never thought we'd see Cad Bane again. This is bittersweet. Oh, it's like a little Grogu chamber. Oh. I did it. It's actually such a fun juxtaposition with the Mandalorian. In a sense, yeah. I mean, it's kind of exactly what he was doing. Uh. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Oh. Yeah, I feel like garbage. You piece of trash. Hello, SP54. My name's Eva. What's yours? Eva knows exactly what she's doing. What happened to Mistress Nala say? She said she'd find out for me. Then I'll be going home. Can you find out for me? I will look into it. Damn, this job sucks. It's a very sweet, polite child. I would be having a temper tantrum. Same amount of emotional attachment must be to be this person. Hello, is P32. Mm, do your thing, SP. Oh. Oh no. Stay away from me. It's all right. No. You're safe, SP32. That's not my name. I just want to go home. That is done. Oh my god. What's the situation? Blasters are not necessary. I have everything under control. Oh no. Don't. <coughs> Your actions were extreme, Commander. He's only a child. A specimen. Attempted to escape. I was following protocol. They both make good points. <laughs> Steppy step step. <laughs> is Jack's going to be okay? This look is a sweetheart. He'll be fine. He's not going to be in trouble. Is he? A sweet little kid. <laughs> He's not in trouble. You can see him tomorrow. What an unfortunate time for these particular force-sensitive children to be born. <laughs> ah, my favorite character. Mistress mm. Say, uh. I have questions regarding your work on Project Necromancer. The Empire will keep them in order to control them. They don't belong here. I feel like the guard's listening. I had to protect. Omega. And what about the other children? I did what I could. Now they will look to you. What will you do? Make the right choice. I don't have that kind of power. Don't you? M count? Emery has M count? She must, right? I mean, if that really is where Omega is. Come on, grab that broomstick, Emery. You can do it. A new specimen will be arriving today. Commander Scorch is departing shortly to retrieve it. It? It's gross. I would like to accompany mm. the commander. That is not necessary. You've stated how important these specimens are. I would like to ensure that they are properly maintained at every stage. Governor Tarkin requests oh! you contact him at once. Do as you wish. Ah, Tarkin. I love Tarkin. Questions have been raised regarding the financial impact your facility is having upon Imperial resources. Additional funds have been diverted at your request. Personal interest to the Emperor. Which is what? Well, I'm afraid that's classified. Ooh. <laughs> 
Perhaps there is some assistance I may provide, seeing this is of such importance. The funding is all I require. Just give me the money. He's working on the Death Star right now. If this project fails to yield proper results, it won't bode well for your operation or for you, Doctor. Yeah, the rhythm in which Tarkin speaks is so refreshing. Oh, I agree. I like that they have him at like a younger sounding cadence right now still. I require an update. I track down the Trent Ocean and mm. pulled some intel out of her. <gasps> Sad! <laughs> She gave up the name of a pirate, has been in contact with the target. I'm searching for her now. No more mistakes. Do not return without Omega. I'm still not unconvinced that that's not actually tech. All right. And an awful twisted... I think it's the Red Smoke guy from oh, the Oh, of course on. Show. Also, I would pay good money to watch a spinoff show of Sid getting tortured by that <laughs> this assassin clone. <laughs> You're not the usual Imperial, Basin. I'm here to inspect the specimen. Who I am is none of your concern. Aww. This specimen is younger than I expected. Then he'll be less trouble. I need to test him. Dude, that clone knows what's up. That clone probably had to kill some Jedi. Wow, that's a high count. And where did this child come from? Asking questions like that, you give away more than you think. Until next time. Mm, you can't send them home if you don't know where they're from. Where is SP-32? Oh, oh God, no. what they do? It provides standard operating procedure for a subject to be isolated Whoa. for two rotations as punishment following an escape attempt. That's a lot of isolation for a child. Oh, you lied. Didn't mean to, but you lied. Is everything all right, SP-54? Eva. You Whoa. lied. Can't do that to a kid. You said Jax wouldn't be in trouble. He just wanted to go home. We all want to go home. Wow. It's like symbolic for shutting out her emotions as well. <sighs> Yeah, these blood testing episodes are the best of the whole season. <laughs> oh, my heart. <laughs> Jeez. What a gesture. Whoa. It's a little lax of resistance. <sighs> All right. All right. Let's start the next one. Point of no return. Someone's going to make a choice. Whoa. Whoa. That bodes poorly. Is that Polis Masa? Nah. No. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> That's Polis <Paulus> Mesa. <laughs> not Masa. I apologize, Internet. I spoke too soon. I was way too grungy. The next time I give you an order to scour through the green goo, you scour through the green goo. Yeah, Greg. Fill it up. The usual. You got it. Mmm. If that is tech, that makes this exchange extremely awful. That is true. That would be, make this a lot more compelling. I mean, I voted Crosshair. I'm going to stick to it. Crosshair clone. That's your... Really? Still there. Still sticking there. Okay. You're wrong, but I respect you. You're grouchy when you're not fully charged. That will be 1,600 credits. Oh. Keep the change, Ollie. Must be See you well. next time. Hmm. Oh, nice Fibro played. Huh, there's no one there. Okay, must be clear. It's good instincts, though. Music has been on point. Yeah. No, we are, uh, Kevin Kiner is killing it. 
What if it's just a, its own original character? Impossible. <laughs> Star Wars? Nah. <laughs> I trapped the pirate had access to an Abbey computer. She tried to cover her tracks, but I broke the encryption. What did you find? She frequented a planet in the outer rim. I'm headed there now to do recon. Oh no. I'll have a full division on standby if you acquire a visual on the tug. Oh no. Uh they're gonna get like an orbitable orbital bombardment or something awful there. That's gotta be all of it, right? You still need to grab the rations. Keep loading up the ship. At least bring me back an ice cone. No, 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 my maker too. Uh, nope. Good to see you. That was good. Aww. Good, we get to see all the people before everything goes miserable. Aw, on their little ice cones. If something happens to Batcher. Good girl, Batcher. Good girl, Batcher. We're all going to die like Mount Vesuvius. Oh no. <laughs> I wish you didn't have to leave. Me too. Mm. What do you think of this spot? It's perfect. So, which treasures did you bring? Treasure. Oh. You sure you want to leave these behind? Pabu was the first place that felt like a home. Mm. The piece of us is still here. Well, I'll make sure these stay safe until you come back. Oh, no. Because you will come back. I hope so. I hate everything right now, Craig. I hate it. I've got an awful feeling about this. I don't even think there's room on this ship for all this gear. Well, maybe I should leave you behind. <laughs> Be nice to the gunk. Yikes. This one guy's gonna cause so much havoc. Oh, and he's off the radar. I think them bringing back the goggles too right now is interesting choice. Interesting choice. It is the predominant theory. And I say no. Uh, my gut says it's just a clone, right? <laughs> just some clone, yeah. But it would be cool and really sad. All right, well, at least it's not like full on. What is it? Not sure, but I don't like it. Hunter's mm. skills. Intuition kicking in. Maybe is Hunter, Hunter has force a, sensitive? He has IM count, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just generalized anxiety, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> oh, rut row. Oh, that's how this is going to go. Report. I've got eyes on the target. Does sound like D. Bradley Baker. <laughs> the clowns she's with. They get in your way. Eliminate them. It's actually John Mulaney. Yeah. Interestingly. But you're all welcome here anytime. Thanks for everything, Shep. Throw all that yen with a handshake. I'll see you soon. And a live action sequel when you guys reunite. As members of the new Jedi Order... You know, this whole planet and arc just feels like Avatar. In a sense. No, it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, double no. Ah, oh, jeez. I thought that make a lot of noise. Oh, it's, it's not a tracker. Oh, no. Oh god, it's gonna be another monster in the water. He's breathing. Box and stack, take record to ships. Deke, get AZ3 to patch him up and fast. On it. Ships don't just blow up. We've been compromised. Oh now it's personal. Oh shit. Everyone, get to cover. Okay, yeah. Remember when I was worried about an orbitable bombardment? <laughs> Gosh, this is not great. Oh, boy. Okay, it's great to see some Republic gunships again. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is just freaking terrible. Wow, this is a beautiful visual. Now they're going to occupy this place. Destroy any ships or sea skiffs in sight. This clone's really proven himself, though. It's a capable clone.
You gotta be kidding me. They are wrecking everything. It's an impossible fight for them to win. Well, there's no way out. They're attacking because of me. It's the Empire's fault, not yours. Destroying all means of escape and jamming our cops. Ooh. We have to steal one of their gunships. You two, get to ships and wait with Wrecker until I signal you. Search every domicile until you find her. <laughs> He's got like a bloodlust in that voice. Oh. The mayor of this town. Oh, shit, buddy. To what pretense are you attacking? We are here to collect a fugitive you've been harboring. You can't just barge in here. I've barely done anything yet. <sighs> I know the girl is here until she's turned over to me. Your island will burn. Holy shit. I mean, Omega has no choice. Oh. That's beautiful nodes of just the Order 66 theme right now. The burning of the temple. You can't do this. It's our home. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh no. Natcha can handle herself. Let's go. I swear to God, Dave Filoni, I will find you if something happens to Batcher. I mean, if they just leave or like escape in some way, that island was screwed. I'm so sorry. How's Rick, AZ? He is still unconscious, but his vitals are stable. Yeah, I I I, I kind of feel like she has to turn herself in. That's exactly what's going to happen. She cares too much. I care too much. Like everyone would, will die because of this. That was cool. Maybe some alone time with Hunter is what we needed. They just keep showing up. Unless he gets captured. And then she really has to turn herself in. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Murder. Damn, Hunter. This is a pretty accurate depiction of me playing Battlefront. <laughs> wow, look at them instincts here. Is Hunter? My vessel's been compromised. I can't shake him! Oh, yeah, man. He's got the aim like cross here. Where is he? Do you see him? He's fine. But I feel like the sniper can easily get him. There's no hiding cross here. The Empire knows I'm here. Our only choice is to let them capture me. You'll be taken back to Tantus. We've been trying to find those coordinates and nothing's worked. Track. But if I keep my comm on me and turn myself over, you can track me to Tantus. No, they'll search you and find it. It won't work. Swallow it. <laughs> Track it onto the ship that they take me away on. Too many unknown variables. It's not a viable plan. Oh, it's dude. all we've got. No, he doesn't want to say goodbye. He doesn't want to say goodbye, yeah. Omega. Focus on the bigger mission, Crosshair. Oh. I'm just a small part of it. That's a leader right there. Wow. Crosshair's development this season? Chef's kiss. Whoa, that's a flamethrower. Stop. I surrender. Stay alert. I neutralized the other two clones with her, but not the third. The third being his original DNA. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> it's not tech. Take me and leave the island alone. Maybe it is tech. Then you never should have come here in the first place. God. This guy just loves to like... <laughs> Give it to me. Fine. I hope you got your shot down, Crosshair. Oh, it's so freaking tense. So good. <laughs> Batcher? Oh, thank God. That's All a that sick ship. Sorry, what was that? All that destruction. I appreciate how these past couple episodes have really captured the evil and villainy of the Empire. Yeah. The ugliness. Palpatine really had a thing for style. I'll give him that. 
It's just like torturing of innocence. Oh, it's all about focus. Come can on. He, can he breathe? Come can on, he focus? Do it. Ah! Ah! Damn, that sucks. Returning to base. Does she have like a secondary tracker? No, but she does have a force connection to Asajj. Wow. Just two episodes to make you feel terrible. I love it. Absolutely love it, Michael. Hello there, esteemed viewer of The Real Rejects. I, Greg Alba, language connoisseur and worldly gentleman, am here to bestow upon you the secrets of Babbel. Babbel is an engaging language learning app designed for real-life conversations, offering quick 10-minute lessons tailored by linguistic experts to effectively teach you a new language. Its conversation-based approach, enhanced with speech recognition technology, makes Babbel worth trying for anyone looking to learn at their own pace, anytime, anywhere. My dear friends, in this age of monolingual mundanity, 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 Babbel is our of hope. Crafted by an army of over 150 language experts, their lessons are like linguistic caviar. Rich, refined, and oh so satisfying. Personal tale of triumph. I once whispered sweet nothings in Spanish, or for the layman, Espanol, to my wife, courtesy of Babel. Her reaction, well, I'll tell you, she was utterly bewitched. Greg, you silver-tongued devil. No paraphrase. She exclaimed such vocabulary as I basked in the glory of my perfect pronunciation. Because Babel isn't just about learning words. It's about embracing the art of conversation with podcasts, live classes, and a veritable smorgasbord of interactive lessons. I know the words I'm saying. And their speech recognition? It's like having a personal language butler. Ensuring every syllable is impeccably crisp. Now brace yourselves for an offer of monumental proportions. Here's a special limited, limited, time. limited time. Deal for our viewers and listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription. But again, only for our viewers at babbel.com slash rejects. 55% off at babbel.com slash rejects. Spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash rejects. Rules and restrictions. Apply. Join me, the Greg Albin, the adventure of language mastery at Babel. We shall not just learn no, nay, we shall conquer the world of communication. Or as they say in Spanish, comunicación. <laughs> we're done with this ad. Well, those were two of the most um, uplifting episodes of the Bad Batch <laughs> that they've ever done. That put me in a great mood. If you're watching X Men '97, and then to go on to this later at night is just a joyous experience. <laughs> that was so. It's just so dark. It's like obviously I'm like the darkest thing we've ever seen. Not the darkest thing in Star Wars. Even it's just like wow. I'm not used to Bad Batch doing like two different focused storylines because they're. I mean, while it's all tethered, they're focusing on different characters in each episode and they're both just so dark <laughs> and normally when they do these two parters it's it, it's like you're following one storyline that's cut sure, up into sure. two parts and this was uh this was bleak as hell it's just a to the suffering of innocence is what they were doing uh -huh. everybody is always saying we wish star wars was darker and well children in prison. Well, let's do it with the kids let's show. Let's do it with the kids <laughs> let's show. Let's go with the kids I, show. I don't know. Other than Star Wars Resistance, I don't know if I genuinely believe that there is like an actual Star Wars kid show um, and yeah. like the Jedi Temple Challenge. I feel like it's in the eye of the beholder. Like there, there is a very much adult show in Clone Wars and in Rebels and in, and in Bad Batch. Uh, I love this though. I love the tone. I love it when it's uh, the serious and somber. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I thought part one was especially just like to spend a little bit of time without any of our heroes. Right. Was just, it's always kind of nice to just get that perspective and to see the innards. Um, and there was like a certain, um, like Andor esque, like poetry and like, daily repetitiveness that you had in the first few episodes when Omega was imprisoned. And I feel like they were able to like capture that same feeling and, and like essence from those early episodes that I really enjoyed and brought it back in an interesting way with Hemlock and Emery uh, and to kind of show how Omega's influence on 
Emery and uh, Anala say, I just thought it was like so well done and, and so unique. Uh, Very true. Yeah, I, I loved it. And then part two, of course, is just like, you know, it's there, no good deed goes unpunished. And being able to just like see Omega's growth to the point where she was able to make such a mature decision mm -hmm. and the impact that she's had on all of these characters is just like so extraordinary, particularly on Crosshair. I was just like so moved at like, you know, his whole mantra of like good soldiers follow orders, which is like a haunting phrase. I feel like he's finally found someone that he really truly believes in mm -hmm. and loves and cares about in a way that, well, I think he loves his brothers. I don't think that he views them the same way that he views Omega and, and necessarily respects them the same way. And that moment of like pain, but also admiration in, in seeing her logic and the way in what she came to terms with that and how she sees the greater good, just like, really really uh like profound stuff for like this particular medium in this particular show um yeah what did you think man i told you what i thought i thought mm -hmm. it was all it was all gravy i like how it ended off with the <laughs> i like how it ended off with crosser not successfully getting the tracker on yeah it's, it's like, like wow <laughs> This just keeps getting worse for them. I, this deal's I, getting worse all I, the time. I really <laughs> thought that that was going to be... Okay, all right. Yeah, everything... Um, oh, my God, I'm blanking. Pabu? Yeah, Pabu. Pabu, uh, Pabu getting wrecked and Wrecker being unconscious. Wrecker getting wrecked. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, everything happening. Honor getting um, wrecked. Uh, on, on Tantus. I thought, okay, here we go. The one hope is this is the moment where Crosshair gets his focus back and he lands a tracker. And never mind. And I thought that was great because they have entered hopelessness territory. And you kind of need that, especially for your last few episodes of the show, yeah. for the order for there to feel like a I don't know if it's going to end on a ball or not, but if it does, uh, triumph is always a welcome emotion. Yeah. So if it is going to end on triumph, yeah. then you need to feel that desperation, and the desperation is very much palpable, 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 palpable. It is palpable. Palpatinable? Palpatinable. It's both palpable, obtainable, I mean, but and palpatine. Emery is going to do some good. She's going to do something good. Hemlock... Um, what I love about everything on Tantus, everyone just really takes their time when they speak. You know, it's that everyone just. I tend to agree. <laughs> yeah, agree. Right. Every, everyone <laughs> really. Nala <loves>. say. <laughs> Nala say so, is my favorite. <laughs> Hemlock takes his time. Emery takes his time, and then yeah. Nala says, "Like now, let's really slow it down, down." <laughs> If I was in a conversation with all say in real life, I'd be like, slow it down. You just say it down. Yeah. I would just interrupt her all the time. <laughs> I just know what we're yeah. just going to say. Have you seen her ASMR YouTube channel? No. Is it real? <laughs> no. That's a good idea, though. They, they should do that. They no. should. I, uh, I don't know what Emery's going to do, but she's going to do something good. Something, yeah. other. something good has to happen. I don't think it's going to end well, in a bad I, place. I, and I, I, what I'd yeah. love to, what I really want to point out, if, if I can point something out, can I please point something out, Michael? Please, I'm begging you. It's your channel, Greg. Please, can I? Fine, fine, fine. Thank you. Fine, fine. The bad clone guy who's leading the charge on uh, Pabu. Yeah. I love what they did with him here because mm -hmm. he, he was in that other two-parter and he got his ass handed to him. And so now you could really feel the drive mm -hmm. that he has to prove himself mm. and i love how ruthless he's talking about everyone because he's a little bit more like shrouded in mystery and, and he was like cold but not as didn't have as much dialogue and i really love how in this episode he's just like i will f all you guys up 
<laughs> like the entire time. It's like every line was just backed with, I will annihilate in order to get what I want. I don't care. It was, and it was really, he's kind of yeah. like, he's kind of scary, you know? Yeah. And uh, I love the drive that they gave him. Like, oh, he's not just a faceless dude now. He, there's a, there's a real yeah, motive. There's a drive. Now. Yeah. I love it. Greg, when you make points like that, it makes me want to let you make more points. Thank you. I just need permission. I, I, Permission granted, but don't get too comfortable. Thank you. Don't forget why people watch this <laughs> channel, Greg. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I, I think the cool thing is it could go anywhere uh, in these final episodes. I mean, my, I, I think what's kind of neat, and I think, like, as I think about, like, the overarching vision of the Star Wars, the plan here. Is that it's it's not necessarily that any one particular group succeeds in like squashing Project Necromancer, as much as all of them just really make it really difficult for them to ever get it perfectly right. Right. Which sets up the basically why like Palpatine isn't able to be like at full strength. Yeah. And yeah. Like, you know, I mean, it's cool. Like uh, I, I mean, I don't know. There's like a lot of buzz on the internet about like we are, according to very real sources, uh, including the voice of Ventress, we are going to see more Ventress um, in a separate Star Wars project. I don't know if that means that we will not see any more Ventress in this particular Star Wars project. Mm. Um, and I guess from like a like narrative sense it it feels right to just keep this about the clones um and just to keep this about the bad batch for that matter um and i've got a feeling that's that's how this is gonna i've got a feeling that's how this is gonna go i mean how many episodes do we have left oh like 18 more or something like no that. don't say that <laughs> i think there's like 16 episodes <laughs> all together yeah, something like that. It's like a ridiculous amount. All right. Well, I know it runs at least was, till May something. This was episode 11. Yeah. So that... 12, 13, 14, 15. 12, 13, 14, five? 15, 16. And then there's like... It's math. I think there's like two more two-parters. Okay, great. We'll see. I'm, not, All I'm I know pretty is, sure there's like one the week of May the 4th. I'm pretty sure there is. Sick. All right. That's fun. I love that. Uh, the well, finale is one episode. A five-hour episode. <laughs> so, what did y'all think? Yeah, mother uh, efforts. What? Who do you think the you the think? assassin is? Yeah, you think number it's one. Tech or do you think it's tech? A random clone? Is it somehow it's crosshair? A clone of cross. Clone of crosshair. Is it Commander Cody? <laughs> Actually, no, no, no. no. It's crosshair <laughs> tech. Is it Yoda? No, no, no. It's crosshair tech. Uh, trust no. me on this. Okay, all right. Well, we're gonna trust only in the force. I read Greg. all the leaks. And uh, <laughs> are there leaks for this show, Greg? You don't know how to read. <laughs> is there is this bad batch? To, are there leaks for bad? If batch? there were leaks, I wouldn't read them, Greg. <laughs> I wouldn't read them either. But is this the kind of show that people would be like? I'm working on getting the the scoops. <laughs> I'm <laughs> bad. Uh, I'm pretty sure that any bit of Star Wars content, there are leaks. Um. Well, well, I'll watch. I don't like leaks anymore. How are they going to find where Tantus is? I got to work on it. Is the Clone Rebellion going to be its own <laughs> show? What's going to happen? Tell us in the comment section. Leave your thoughts below. I will respond with what I think of your thoughts. Uh, and as always, use the Force to leave a like. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thank you for joining us for this wonderful two-parter of The Bad Batch. We will see you not next week because I'm not going to be here, but I'm sure it will be great. Uh, may the force be with you. Until then, bye. Yeah, brevity is a soul, but remember that next outro. All right, bye.